I'm Dean Huppert. This is the Mishawaka Coaches Show with Keith Kinder, sponsored by Indiana Army National Guard. And Coach, you've got Gary West. This is going to be a big game, a bounce-back game for you guys. It is. Uh, you know, we uh, we didn't play very well at times uh, last week. Uh, we've challenged our kids with, you know, getting better this week, and we've had a really good week of practice. I think our kids are excited to play. Gary West started the year with rival Gary Roosevelt. They blew him out 56-6, but then lost a heartbreaker last week, 27-26 against Indianapolis Addicts. Kind of like you guys, they want to get back on that winning game, and they also had a close game last week. Yeah, they did, and you know they started out uh, up 14 to nothing. Uh, they returned the opening kick for a touchdown, and had a pick six on the very next possession. So they start fast, um, and that's something that we haven't done very well in the first two weeks. So we've we've stressed that to our kids. Um, we, we can't get in the hole. You know, we turned the ball over, went down seven nothing uh, in week one, and 14 nothing last week. Kids are resilient. They'll bounce back, and they're ready for that next game and ready for the next opportunity. As coaches, as fans, sometimes you hold on to things. Uh, was that easy for you to, to move on and say, hey, we've got other games to go. We've got to move forward. No, it was not. I, I beat myself up for, for the entire Labor Day weekend. I don't think it was a very fun weekend at our house uh, for my wife. Uh, you know, just you know, trying to figure out how to get better. But what I told our kids is champions bounce back. Uh, eventually, you know, there's nothing we can do about last week, and and, and, and it, it took me until we got back on the practice field to where I started feeling better because, you know, over the course of the weekend when you can't be in contact with the kids sure. and you're trying to leave them alone, um, you just, your head is spinning with what could we do differently, what should we have done, so uh, we've moved on, uh, we're ready to compete, we know it's a, we got, we got a grind coming. Uh, we just had to get better, and I think our kids have done that this week. What is it that you like about your team and, and the kids who are out there? I know you have some kids in new positions, you have some young kids, but you also have some veterans that I'm sure that leadership sometimes rises. What I like is that we have bounced back from adversity in both games. You know, we, I, I just mentioned it behind and uh, fought back in both the games. Uh, last Friday, down 14 nothing, and, and take the lead 22-21 to in the fourth quarter. Uh, I like that. What I don't like is our slow starts. Uh, we're not starting fast, and I think that we've got to do a better job uh, as a coaching staff of figuring out ways that we can start faster so that against uh, quality competition when the conference season hits, uh, you know, we're not facing a 7 nothing deficit because of mistakes that we made um, or a 14 nothing deficit because when that stuff happens in these conference games with as good as our conference is, we're going to be in trouble if that does happen. It was exciting to have an opening night. A lot of fans were out here. You're going to need the fans as we start a three-game home stretch here. Talk about that, just how important they can play a factor and how excited your team gets to know that they have their back. Well, there's some comfort in being at home, particularly after a disappointing loss to come back here in front of your home crowd and have fun. It's a great atmosphere to play. Uh, it's, it's a great it's a great environment. Uh, the, the stadium is, is a really special place. So uh, we love being here. Um, but, you know, the, once the ball's kicked off, we still got to do, uh, you know, the same things that we preach to our kids. And, and, and that's taking care of the football, not getting the ball thrown over our head, and uh, tackling well. And has that been the emphasis this week? I know you talked about it last week, take care of the football and good things happen. Yeah, you know, we did talk about that. I mean, you know, of our – we've had – uh, something like eight touchdown scoring drives uh, so far this year. I think that's right. Um, six of those have been over 12 plays. You know, if we don't turn the football over, we can go on long drives and keep, the, you know, keep possession of the ball and take some time off the clock. Uh, if we turn the ball over on our end of the field, that we put our defense in a bad spot. So we've, we've stressed the taking care of the football, and, and we've just really stressed playing, playing faster on defense and tackling better. Well, it's going to be another exciting night at Steel Stadium. We look forward to watching the Cavemen. Yeah, thanks. Go Cavemen. All right, this has been the Indiana National Guard Coaches Show with head coach Keith Kinder.